Oh my god, you guys, I just feel like I have so much to say right now, and I just, I don't even know where to begin. It has been such a long time since I've just sat down and filmed like a story time type of video where I'm not just reading your guys' stories, or I'm reading any like paranormal Reddit shit. I have so many stories of my own to tell you right now, like so many mini little stories, I just, I can't wait, I can't wait. Hey y'all. <clears throat> Hey y'all. Also, Kayla's not here, so I just feel like I have all of this freedom, like I can do whatever the fuck I want. Not that I can't do whatever I want while Kayla's here, but I just feel like it doesn't matter. It's just you and me and nobody in between, nobody to judge me. So what the fuck is up, Kyle? I have had one of the most eventful weekends of my entire fucking life. And by, by eventful, I mean like, Nothing really that crazy happened, but things that would only happen to me happened, so I kind of want to tell you guys about them. And you probably already noticed the band-aid on my finger, so I kind of want to... We're not going to start with that story, just because... I don't even know where to begin. If you guys are new to my channel, or if you are newer to my channel, I used to film these kinds of videos all the time. I call them like random rambles, where I just literally sit down and talk about whatever I want to talk about. I just feel like I have so much to say to you guys. Like, there's so much going on right now, and I just want to talk about all of it, and I'm just... I. Okay, literally how many times have I said that so far in the first three minutes of me recording? Ah, boy! So for those of you who like my paranormal videos or my scary story videos where I ramble a lot at the beginning, you're gonna love this because it's just that times 500 because I'm just gonna ramble the whole fucking time. For starters, I wanted to say that I am going to VidCon. I've had a lot of people ask me about that. I'm not going to the convention itself. I have a lot of people asking if I'm going to TanaCon, VidCon, whatever. I'm going to neither. I will be in Anaheim and I'm gonna try to go around the convention center at least one or two of the days. So if any of you are going to VidCon and you want to meet me because like why wouldn't you? I will be there and I will probably tweet out where I am or like when I'm outside of the convention center I'll tweet like I'm here but I also wanted to say with VidCon and with big crowds you guys I have really bad anxiety and I think I've touched on this a little bit before but I have pretty bad anxiety especially when it comes to like that big of like a group or crowd of people and so if I ever seem like I hate my life or if I seem like I'm terrified of everybody that's there it's because I I, I, I am I don't hate my life but I am scared of everybody there I think I've probably just made 90% of you scared to come up to me I want you guys to come up to me and I love you guys and I want to hug you and I want to see you and I want to meet you but just so you know. I have a resting bitch face. I look really mean all the time, but I promise I'm not a mean person. I'm not helping my case at all. I'll be at VidCon. I'll be at VidCon. I will be at VidCon. Well, I won't be at VidCon. I'll be in Anaheim. I'll be at Anaheim. Am I talking really fast? I'm talking really fast. <clears throat> slow down. Oh my God, I just said all of that within like 30 seconds, you guys. I need to slow down. I also wanted to say that if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should totally follow me on Instagram. I never plug myself, but but I literally just learned how to use my Instagram story. I'm like a 55 year old woman when it comes to my phone. Like I don't know how to do anything at all ever. Like I have like an old school camera. I just like press record and hope for the fucking best. Like I don't know what I'm doing. Like I have no idea what I'm doing on the internet. I don't know. Twitter's like my main thing. I tweet so much. I, I tweet way too often, but I literally, like I said, I just learned how to use my Instagram story. So I've been kind of abusing it, but like at the same time, I'm a pretty funny person. I, at least I like to think. And if you guys didn't see, I posted on my Instagram story on, what's today? Today's Tuesday. I posted on Tuesday that Kayla and I are going to Miami. Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to say why we're going to Miami. So I'm not going to say why we're going to Miami, but we're going to Miami. <laughs> we're going for a week. So we leave, she leaves tomorrow on Wednesday and I leave on Thursday. I hate when I like record and I try to explain timelines because it makes no fucking sense but by the time you're seeing this we are in Miami but for some reason okay and you guys probably noticed in my video I'm gonna try not to be all over the place right now I just I know it's gonna happen because I like skip from one story to another because I just get like way too ahead of myself Kayla and I have this ongoing joke with us going to Miami where we just like really obnoxiously say I'm going to Miami and like the most annoying voice ever like that was probably so annoying I'm probably gonna cringe like while I watch that because like it's just, it's really ugly. It's so gross, guys. It's so gross. But we do it so often that at some point it goes from like, we're going to Miami to like, I don't know. I don't know why we do these things. Like, we're so annoying. We are the most annoying people in the entire world. But if you guys saw my video from last weekend where it was like me and Kayla making fun of little kids for 13 minutes, we did that at one point with like the you did nothing. And that's just become a huge joke with you guys. And I fucking love it. Can I just say that? The amount of people who have like tweeted at me and like posted on like my Instagram and stuff, it's just saying like, you did nothing, it fucking kills me. But Kayla and I do this thing where we'll say one thing and we'll just like keep it going for way too long. Like Dylan literally said today, Dylan was like, you're fucking beating a dead horse. He's like, shut the fuck up. Because we die laughing the whole time, but nobody else thinks it's funny. Like all of our friends in our group message, like of all the Texas people, me and Kayla will sit there and we're together, we live together. So we'll be like laying in my bed and we'll just be sending voice messages to the group chat, like me and Kayla both. And people will be like, you're right next to each other. Stop sending these messages to us. Like we don't think you're funny. Like all 
of our friends pretty much hate us at this point. It's fine. It's fine. What was I saying? We're going to Miami. We're going to Miami. And we like to say we're going to Miami a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, next story. I think I like just zoned out for like 10 minutes. Yeah, it's been 10 minutes. So I, okay, I know I say to you guys all the time that like I'm never gonna drink again, whatever, because okay, here's my problem. I like to drink and I like to go out and drink. I'm 23 by the way, so for all the people who are like, this is illegal, it's not. I'm old. I like to go out and drink and I like to go to clubs and I like to go to bars and I like to just, you know, let loose and have fun and, uh, I just like to go out, okay? I like to drink, whatever, okay, whatever. So this last weekend, actually the last couple weeks, I've been going out way more than I should and I've been drinking more than I should and like I know that. But the other day we went out and we were drinking and we were fucking day drinking. Like this is like the problem that I'm having right now. To be fair though, I didn't really drink that much in high school so I feel like I'm just like letting it all out now. Like I'm just, you know, living my best life. What can I say? But me and Kayla went to drink with our friends like during the day and it was probably like, I think we probably left my apartment around 3.34 and by the time we got there it was like whatever, almost five. Okay, it doesn't matter. Like the timing doesn't fucking matter. But let me just say by six o'clock we were already wasted. So we had originally gone to this bar and we got a couple beers, we got a shot and we were drinking whatever. And then we went to this like pool party thing. And then from there we just ended up going back to my friend's place and we were just swimming at the pool like at his like condo apartment place. And if you guys don't know, I don't know how to swim. Like I don't know how to swim, but I was so drunk to the point that I was swimming, you guys, I swam. I was swimming. I mean, I wasn't doing it very well. Like I definitely failed while swimming, but I was swimming. I got in the pool, I got my hair wet, which is also saying something, shut the fuck up. I just turned my computer off, hang on. Okay, so I went swimming and I was wasted at the same time. It was probably like 7 p.m. at this point. And my friends try to teach me how to swim too because I just, I genuinely can't do it. And I'm not joking, both of them were just like, what the fuck, Courtney? Like, I'm hopeless. I am hopeless when it comes to swimming. And it sucks because I do like to swim. I like swimming. I like being by the pool. But I can't swim. I can't swim. <laughs> I'm like out of breath from how fast I've been talking. This is pathetic. But now to a good story. So that day, that whole day, I mean, I was drinking from probably like 4 p.m. until God knows when. But when I finally decided to go home, it was like midnight. <laughs> I'd been out for so long at this point. And so I had to call an Uber and my Uber was like 30 minutes. Like just the ride from like where I was to my house was like 30 minutes. And I've made this ride like a million different times. And it's just like the same thing. I mean, I just like, I, it's like Uber. Like, I mean, I'm sure you guys have ridden an Uber. It's like never anything exciting. People always have these amazing super exciting stories and I'm always like I get fucking boring ass uber drivers like we don't speak it's just silence I like sit in the back and play on my phone the whole time because I, I don't really want to talk to them but that's besides the point because what the fuck happened in my uber you guys so I got in the car and my phone was at like one percent and I already hate asking the uber driver for things like I hate being like hey do you have an aux cord do you have a phone charger like can I play my own music whatever I just I feel obligated to just sit there and shut the fuck up and just like take my ride and get home but my phone was at one percent and I, I needed my phone so I get into the car and my uber driver was like hey like hi how are you and all this stuff and then we start leaving and he was talking and I thought he was talking to me because it would make sense for him to be speaking to me because I'm in his car but he was speaking so low I just like I was like I, I couldn't make out what he was saying at first like I was just like I couldn't tell if he was talking to me but I couldn't hear him at all so I just like wasn't responding in the hopes that maybe he'd be like oh shit all right stupid bitch in the back doesn't want to talk today but then at one point I realized I'm like Oh wait, he has headphones in. Like he's on the phone. And so I was like, why is he speaking so low on the phone? Also, I've never been in an Uber where they were like on the phone the whole time. I feel like that's almost like, and I guess it's not really rude because honestly, if I was an Uber driver, I'd probably rather talk to my friends on the phone than talk to the people in my fucking back seat. But I realized after like maybe like three or four minutes that this man was on the phone. And then, and then you guys, I started to understand what was going on. This man was not just having any ordinary phone call. My Uber driver was literally having phone sex while I was in the car. I am literally, I was like so uncomfortable, you guys. And I'm gonna be honest, I can like deal with anything. I really don't give a shit about most things. And like that, I just, I was so uncomfortable and I just, I didn't even know what to do. My phone's on 1%, so it's not like I can even distract myself by going on my phone or checking Twitter or playing a game or anything. Like I was forced to just listen until, until I got the courage to be like, I literally had to interrupt this man's phone text to be like, you have a phone charger, like my phone's gonna die. And like, he had to be like, okay, hang on baby. And then like get the phone charger and hand it to me. And I was like, God, dear God, like I, 
dear fucking god. And so once I got the phone charger, I was like, okay, this is a little bit better. And so I was just kind of playing on my phone, whatever. And then it gets fucking worse, you guys. I don't even think I want to go into detail about the things that he was saying on the phone. I really couldn't hear most of it. I mean, like I said, it was like a very low mumble. Like I, I could barely make out what he was saying at first. Like I, again, like I thought he was speaking to me, but I was like, I don't know what you're saying. But then when I realized what was happening, I could hear just like these low whispers of him being like, I, I can't even repeat it. You guys, I, I really don't get uncomfortable with a lot of things, but this genuinely makes me uncomfortable because I had to experience it and I was just like, what? Like what man, like what person is like, okay, well I'm gonna Uber and I'm gonna pick up people in my car, but like while I'm doing that, down. Also, did he not think that I like, like, did he think that I couldn't hear him at all? Because I mean, I really couldn't hear him that well, but I could hear him. I could hear him. My Uber driver was having phone sex while I was in the car. And I'm, I was like pretty, like I was pretty drunk at this point. Like, I mean, I wasn't wasted. I was definitely like a little bit past buzzed, like a little bit past tipsy, but I, I was just sitting back there and I was like, Really? And then to make it worse, we got to my apartment complex and I tried to take my seatbelt off. And okay, you know how like seatbelts, they have like the red button. It's like plastic surrounding your little seatbelt thing and then the red button that you press to like let your seatbelt go. Every fucking car is the same. So I looked down and I don't know how I didn't notice this when I was putting my seatbelt on. Like I didn't notice that that was missing, but there was like no plastic thing. Like there was no plastic thing, there's no button. It was just like this weird mechanical wiry fucking mess. And so I was trying to get my seatbelt off and I didn't want to talk to him. He was still in the fucking phone by the way so I didn't want to talk to him I didn't want to disturb him anymore I didn't want to you know halt what was happening I didn't want to put a, a stop to that I just was like you do your thing you keep going but I'm, I'm stuck back here and so I couldn't get my seatbelt off and so I was I was playing with it for like a while because I couldn't figure it out because there's I mean there was no button and I got to the point where I was so tempted to just crawl out of my seatbelt because I mean it was like across from me and like over my lap obviously so my first thought was like okay let me just like pull my knees through the seatbelt and then I'll just like climb from underneath and then we'll get out of the car but then drunk me was like oh wouldn't it just be easier if you lifted if I fucking lifted the entire seatbelt on my lap up over my head as if that's even possible and I'm not kidding I was trying to do that and like I said I was a little bit I was a little bit intoxicated so I, I, that's my excuse that's my excuse so this man can probably see me like in his rearview mirror at least he can see me just like out of the corner of his eye me trying to lift my entire seatbelt over my fucking head you guys like not just this part but like the part across my lap I was trying to lift it over my head like I was like doing some of that action like I I thought that I could do this and then after like maybe 20 seconds of struggling I realized I can't do this and I gave up and so he was like just sitting there and he was like all right thank you he was like waiting for me to get out of the car and I was like I can't get my seatbelt off so he was like oh yeah I have to do it for you and so then I'm thinking you have to do it for me maybe tell me that before I get into the car maybe tell me hey that seatbelt's broken if you want to like scoot over or, like sit in the middle or even sit on the other side whatever but this man like I got into this seat I put my seatbelt on and he didn't even tell me, by the way, that seatbelt doesn't work. So now I'm gonna have to awkwardly let you out of the car like you're a toddler. So he pulls the red button thing from the center console, reaches back there and puts it onto my seatbelt thing and unlocks my seatbelt. And I was thinking, why can't you just leave that there? He, he had it, he had it in his hand and he could slide it on. So I'm thinking, how about instead of trapping your Uber customers, you leave it on the seatbelt thing so that people can get out on their own makes sense to me right so he lets me out of the car and i was just so uncomfortable with like the entire thing because first of all it's a 30 minute uber of him having phone sex while i'm in the back seat praying that my phone doesn't die i finally get a phone charger and i'm just sitting there like what's happening sean mendez was playing so i was pretty happy with that but at the same time it's hard to enjoy sean mendez when you hear oh baby from i mean from the front seat <clears throat> It's just weird. And then to top it all off, I'm fucking trapped in this Uber. Like I cannot get my seatbelt off and I'm gonna be that dramatic bitch who's like my Uber driver trying to kidnap me. But if you think about it realistically here, let's be realistic for a second. If this man wanted to kidnap me, he had me. He got me stuck. He got me stuck. He had me stuck. He had me stuck. How do you say that? I was stuck. I was stuck in that Uber. I was stuck in my seatbelt. I tried multiple different escape routes. None of them worked. If this man wanted to leave with me, he could have. Actually, he could probably could have done that anyways. 
regardless of my seatbelt situation, whatever. Then just to finish the story off, when I got out of the car, Kayla happened to arrive at my apartment like the same time that I did because she was driving from my friend's house and I was like at another friend's house. And so we met there, we got there at the same time and I get out of the car, out of my Uber, and I notice that my fucking finger is just like gushing blood, you guys. <laughs> and so I get out of the car and my whole finger is covered in blood and I was like, hey Kayla. And she was like, what the fuck happened? Because she had left me maybe two hours prior, maybe like less than that, maybe just an hour and a half prior. Like we had only not seen each other for an hour. And I get out of the car and I was like, I just fucked up my hand trying to unbuckle my seatbelt because I was sitting there playing with this like mechanical wiry mess for so long that I sliced my finger open, you guys. I literally sliced my finger in my Uber trying to get out of my Uber. I swear these things would only happen to me. These are the most, okay, literally, I, I have the most ridiculous story sometimes and I just think to myself, how did I get myself here? How did we end up in this situation? What happened? What did I do so wrong in life? It's literally the world telling me to stop drinking so much. And I agree, cheers to that boys. Also, if you guys want to hear another funny story, this is completely unrelated. So when Kayla first moved here, actually not when she first moved here, like maybe a week or two ago, Kayla bought slime like online. Like she bought like a tub of slime. Actually, I have him. I have the culprit right here. Here's the culprit. She bought this stupid fucking slime the other day. And first of all, let me say, she said it was like 99 cents because I was like, we could have made slime. Like, why did you pay for slime? She was like, oh, it was 99 cents. But then this bitch goes, the shipping was $9. So she paid $10 for this shit. I don't understand the hype behind slime, I really don't. I've made one slime video and I will never go back because I made my own slime and I kind of fucked it up. But she bought this shit. She kept playing with it, which like I understand, like she bought it, she's gonna play with it, whatever. I can't even play with it because it just sticks to my hands and I just get frustrated because it's so sticky and I hate it. She was playing with it and I actually think this happened yesterday. So if you guys follow my Instagram, again, I put this on my story, we were dying laughing, you guys. So she rolled it up into a ball and she kept throwing it around, like she threw it at the ceiling. And I'm thinking, like, do, okay, did you guys ever play with those like sticky hands where you would throw them on the ceiling and they would just end up getting fucking stuck and your parents would get pissed because they would either stay there forever or it would fall down and just be like a stain of like a hand on your ceiling who can relate so kayla's throwing this shit at my ceiling and i was like stop doing that and she, she gets to the point where sometimes she just gets really bored so she feels like annoying me it's like i have a child so then she starts throwing it at the wall like she rolled it into a ball and she was like look it's like a bouncy ball and she threw it at the wall and it would just bounce back at her like it wasn't sticking to the wall or anything and so i kept telling her to stop because i didn't want it to stick to the wall and i don't want there to be a giant fucking stain on my wall and she doesn't listen so she keeps going she keeps throwing it like the child that she is like my child that she is and she had her suitcase from when she had gone to michigan i believe she had it sitting like just open in the living room and she threw the ball of slime at the wall and it bounced in the opposite direction of where she was and it landed in her fucking suitcase so basically what happened was the slime got stuck in her suitcase and it got on everything like it got all over two pairs of her jeans it got all over the bag itself on her like literally ruined her clothes and so she was like she started screaming because she was like no she's like what the fuck did i just do and at first i just thought maybe it landed on the carpet and it got like hair on it and it was kind of gross and then i walk over and i swear to god you guys i had to run to the bathroom because i was about to pee my pants i was laughing so hard because i was like that's what you get i'm like i told you to stop throwing it i told you to stop throwing it i told you to stop throwing it and he didn't listen and now your shit's ruined because you couldn't listen it's funny because she's not even here right now so i can make fun of her as much as i want it doesn't even matter because she's not in the background to call me a bitch Fuck you, Kayla. Except she could literally walk through the door at any second now, but that's okay. But I was fucking dying, you guys. Like, it's not even funny. And so we tried all these different remedies. Like, so many of you guys replied and you were like, try this or try this. So we tried a bunch of stuff. I think she ended up getting it out of her jeans. Like, she tried to freeze her pants. Then we ran it through hot water. Then we soaked it in lemon juice. Like, we tried everything that you could possibly think of. And I think it actually worked. I'm pretty sure it worked. But this thing honestly belongs in the trash. Gross. I hate slime. I hate it. I don't understand it. I think that's all I had to say. I think I just told the bulk of my stories really quickly without breathing the whole time. Also, I'm pretty sure the wasp is gone. If you guys remember from every video that I've ever posted, I always talk about the wasp that's outside, like the one specific wasp that's like always here. Actually, I've probably only talked about it like maybe twice, but we had two or three wasp nests like on my balcony and we destroyed them all. By we, I mean Kyler did. I don't think you, I don't know if you guys know Kyler. Kyler's my friend. Kyler's our friend. He came over one night and we were all just like hanging out and he literally knocked down all of them. Oh my God, it's back. Are you fucking kidding me? Where are you staying? We destroyed your home. I know it's mean to like destroy their home, whatever, but at the same time, like it's my balcony. I pay rent. Do you, I am not kidding you guys. It knows. It fucking knows. I have not seen that thing in days. And right when I bring it up, 
It's here. Are you kidding? Oh my god, I want I want you guys to see this thing. It's your big debut. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, he's totally not gonna come now. <gasps> Do you see him? Do you see him out there? Oh my god. Okay, I don't think you're gonna be able to see him. I think I'm like the most dramatic human ever. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. He knows. Do you guys see him? Oh my god. Oh my god, he fucking knows. This man is so smart. Like it's not even funny. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my God, okay, you guys had to have seen him. You had to have seen him at least at one point in that whole thing. I'm shocked because I'm not even joking. We haven't seen him in so long. And the second I bring him up, he's back. He just knows, he fucking knows. That means I have to go because he's gonna kill me. He's plotting his revenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys don't like these weird rambly videos, then I'm sorry because I can't help it. I know I'm all over the place. I know I'm a mess, but it's fine. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if any of you are going to VidCon because I want to meet you guys. I'm really excited. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. I never do a middle part anymore. Whenever I do it, I'm always like, oh my God, wow, like this looks so good. And then I film and I'm like, fuck.